All right. What is up, everybody? I always do that. I don't. I don't know why I always do that. As soon as I start filming, I always. What is up, everybody? Uh, I'm gonna do a little update on the Le Baron because I've done some work on it um, since the last video, which was like maybe a week or two ago. Since I picked it up, she's just a little dirty right now. I also think it's gonna rain, but fuck it. Do a little little video. I might go somewhere else to film it. I don't know yet. Just making sure my hubcaps are on. I just got the brakes done today. I didn't have time to do it, so got my buddy to do it. There we go, you bitch. Oh, I can put the center caps in. I forgot about that. A little update on the LeBaron, because I did quite a few things since the last video I did. The black part in the bumper on the front here, that was all yellow and faded as hell, and it's like fake plastic too. So I just did a quick little plasti dip job just to blacken that up. So I also had done the same plasti dipping to the back. So obviously this is not professionally painted whatsoever. Uh, it's all actually spray paint. I never even took it off the car. I just taped everything up. Uh, I did a base coat of black plasti dip so the paint had something to grab to. So I'm not done. I want to do all the chrome in this gold color. Obviously because I already started that. After I finish shooting this, I'm going to go put a bit of air in the tires. This is, a couple of them are getting a little low. But uh, I did all the chrome on the front. I did in the gold. The hubcaps, the center caps, I also did in the gold. And then for the back, taped up around the tail lights. Did that gold. The badges, I had actually just taken them right off. Done those in gold as well. And then obviously... Okay, it's supposed to stay open, but... There we go. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> it's a cool little feature. Uh, I started to take off the pinstripe here. There's still a little glue residue along. I got this side all done. This side's all taken off. I started to take off this white stuff that I pointed out last time. It's like plaster. I got it off where I was doing it, but I ran out of time. Same with the pinstripe, the ugly pinstripe. I started at the back started like right at the back. I got up until after the gas cap here and then I got like I started doing the front fender but I didn't end up doing the entire thing. So I'm just gonna finish that at some point whenever I got time and then I have the uh, I did a little plasti dip just on the antenna here and obviously legendary for lowrider fuzzy dice <laughs> gotta have the fuzzy dice too. Now I don't know why because it's not really the season for them but there's a shit ton of black flies and it is a pain and that crow won't shut up. So I'm gonna make this video quick. It's almost done anyways. Uh, next, I need a tire rod in the passenger front side. Yeah, front passenger side, I need tire rod. Um, balance, alignment, and tires. But I'm not gonna bother doing any of that this year, I don't think only because this car is gonna get dropped off to get vinyl wrap done, custom vinyl wrap, it's gonna be crazy. When I get the vinyl wrap done, the chrome is gonna be repainted. Um, because I just did the chrome with spray paint, like it's, it's shit. So, okay, I hate getting interrupted. <laughs> like, I'm in a completely empty parking lot. There's like four empty parking lots behind me, and of course, uh, one guy already came and parked right, right next to me. Why? And then someone else came and parked right next to me on the other side. Like, pisses me off. I go to an empty parking lot for a reason. I'm trying to get stuff done and people just come and park right next to me. It's a pain in the ass. I am parked like a dick right now because I'm taking up two spots, but I'm taking up two spots in an empty parking lot. And there's another parking lot right there. And then there's another parking lot right in front of me and then over there and yeah, but they got to park on both sides of me. I don't know why. It's a big pain. Because the wrap that I'm going with on this thing is going to be uh, full custom. It's going to be like a custom print. It's going to have... Yeah, I'm not I'm not going to go into detail. Because that'll be a surprise once it comes. Not not a lot of people know about it. Uh, not everybody even knows about this car yet. Majority of people do, but... Um, 
I kind of kept it. I kept it a secret until I got it, until I got it home, and then I posted a couple of pictures, but only on my Instagram and my Facebook. I didn't put it like everywhere. Chrome, all the chrome in the front, painted gold, minus the A pillars. Um, all the chrome around the back, that's done. Pinstripes off one side, mostly off the other side. Still got to finish it. You can't really see it unless you go close, anyways. Uh, brakes are done. The drums in the back, discs in the front. Um, I went to go get it looked at for the vinyl wrap. I gotta get it custom printed before I even know a price. I just gotta send a bunch of designs over of what I want similar and then they're gonna see what they can do uh, to match what I'm looking for. And then I also got a price quote for exhaust. Uh, full custom exhaust would be close to $1,000 uh, for the style that I want. Uh, it's gonna be three inch stainless. I'm probably gonna end up doing it. And I think I'm gonna end the video here because I can see on my screen right here that my camera is going to die. I have another battery with me, but I'm done anyways. I'm done. This is my little update. It's going well. Car's going well. Doesn't need much more till it's perfect. Um, yeah, this build is coming along nicely and I'm very happy with that. And I cannot wait till next year because this winter, this thing is gonna transform over winter. Unlike when most people say their car is going to transform over winter and then it's like, ooh, they dipped their badges or something or they debadged it or they tinted their windows or something. You know, like, I used to always <laughs> say that and I was, I'm being hypocritical. I totally did it a couple times. I'm like, oh, my car is going to be so different next year. And then it's like almost completely the same. Uh, but this one, it definitely is because I'm getting everything done as we speak um, and planned out for the winter. So by next season, this thing is going to be awesome.